hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll look at how we can connect to a Linux Mint machine from a Windows PC uh, using RDP or remote desktop protocol first thing we need to do is we need to set up uh, XRDP on uh, Linux Mint because it doesn't come installed by default now we need to open the terminal so just search for the terminal and open it and then we'll run a few commands on the terminal the first thing we need to do is we need to update the packages using the command sudo apt update put in our password the packages have been updated the next thing we'll do is we'll need we'll need to install xrdp the command for doing that is let me just clear this sudo apt install xrdp press enter I for yes. Now, once the installation is done, we'll go ahead and uh, make sure that XRDP services are started and enabled as well. So it's done with the installation. Now, to enable XRDP, you can first check the status. We can do sudo system ctl status XRDP. So there's a typo there, missing S. So it's saying it's active and running. So we don't actually need to enable it or start it. If it was uh, dead or inactive and not enabled, we'll have, let me do here. We would have needed to use the command sudo system ctl enable xrdp. And then to start it, we would have needed to use start XRDP. To stop it, we'll use stop XRDP. So we don't need to do any of those since it's already uh, running. The other thing you might need to do if you have a firewall enabled, you might need to allow port 3389 for uh, XRDP, the command for Doing that is sudo ufw allow uh, 3389 tcp. I don't need to do this. I don't have the firewall enabled, so I shouldn't have any issues. Now that we've done those steps, the last step is to determine our IP address on this Linux Mint machine. We'll need this IP on the Windows PC when we use the RDP app. To get the IP, there's two commands we can use. We can use ifconfig. That should give you the IP right here, 172.16.1.103. So just uh, make note of that IP. The other command you can use to check the IP is uh, IP address, which should also give you the IP for your interface. At this point, we are done with the uh, Linux Mint machine. We'll go to the Windows PC. Okay, now I'm on the Windows PC. I just need to open the remote desktop app. And I'll just search for it, remote desktop. The app is right here. Just click it to open it. And here we'll need to put the IP we got from the Linux Mint machine, which was 162, which was 172.16.1.103. And before you connect, what you can also do, you can open the command prompt and make sure you can reach that device by pinging that IP, ping 172.16.1.103. And you can see that it's reachable, we can reach it. So we sent four packets, we received four, we lost zero packets. So I'll close this. Now that I know that I can reach it, I'm going to click on connect. I'm gonna click on, so it's saying that the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? I'll say yes. And here you'll need your username for the Linux Mint machine. Now you might wanna log off if you're gonna use the same username. So I'll come back here and actually, what I'm gonna do here, I'm 
I'm going to log out. And then I'll come back here so I can use the same username. Sometimes if you're using the same username, you run into issues. So it's Eno. Then I'll put in the password. And then we'll wait to see if we get connected to it. And there you go. We are using a remote desktop. As you can see here at the top, the IP address is listed. And we are, we are able to connect to the Linux Mint machine. And we are using and we are coming from a Windows PC, as you can see. So that's all for this video. That's how you can connect to a Linux Mint machine from a Windows PC using Remote Desktop or RDP. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.